Hello, it's Carla Sweet from Scrap and Create. So let's get started on construction of the base of our folio. So you will be needing two pieces of chipboard, medium weight chipboard, cut to nine inches long by six and three quarter inches wide. Nine inches long, six and three quarter inches wide. Need two of those. You will need two pieces of chipboard cut at nine inches long by seven and a quarter inches wide. So two pieces of those. You will need two pieces. Two pieces cut nine inches long by three quarter of an inch wide. So you'll need two of those. And you will need one piece of chipboard, again, nine inches long by one and a three quarter inches wide. You will also need three pieces of black cardstock, 65 to 80 pound cardstock, cut to 11 inches tall by 12 inches wide. So get those all cut. And then what we're going to do is we are going to assemble Oops, where did I have this? We are going to assemble our black card stock. So we have, this is gonna be hard to get all in frame. So we have our three pieces. We are going to join them. You're gonna put a quarter inch score tape on the right hand side of your first piece. And all on this piece too, I also scored it at one inch on the edge here on the 11 inch side and then down at the bottom one inch down here and i scored all of these one inch on the bottom just so i have a line of where i'm going to be placing my chipboard so you're going to be adjoining these two you probably all know how to do that get them lined up it looks lined up. Pull the score tape. And I just pull and kind of go slow. Real slow. <laughs> Real slow there. Good. Burnish that down. And then you're going to be adhering this middle piece to this third piece, once again, with that quarter inch tape. So I'm going to take that and get that lined up. Lined up and pull the tape. Got that burnished down. So now we have this long piece. So the way you are going to arrange your chipboard pieces, we are going to start at your left hand side. You are going to get your six and three quarter inch piece of chipboard. I'll show you how you're going. This is going to be laid out. You're going to lay that down at this end. You are going to be getting your three quarter of an inch piece. Then next to the three quarter inch piece, you are going to be putting your seven and a quarter inch piece. So there's the seven and a quarter inch piece. 
Then you're going to be getting your wider piece. This is going to be the center of your album. The one and three quarters is going to be flanking the seven and a quarter inch piece on this side and the seven and a quarter inch piece on this side. Then you are back to your three quarter of an inch piece. And then at the end, you have your six and three quarter inch piece. And then at the end here, I'm just, once we get it all laid down, we'll cut this to one inch also. So that is how it's going to be laid out. Now, I've already prepped all my pieces with score tape. Everything is prepped, burnished down real well, and then I'll be applying it um, onto my large spread here. So I'm sure you all have your way of laying your chipboard. Um, this is the way I do it just because I need help. <laughs> I get my scoreboard. So here is our left end. I've already put my, my one inch line here where I scored it and one inch line all the way down. Yet still, I need help. So when I place my chipboard with my score tape, what I like to do is put it in the scoreboard so this is butted against this edge and the bottom is butted against this side. So it's not going to be moving. And then I made these little shims that are one, you just out of chipboard, they're one inches wide, both of them, one inches wide. Put one here, and put one here. Then I have taken off my score tape. This is what was a large score tape sheet. These are great, so you're not pulling out off lots and lots of bits of score tape. So now this is the six and three quarter inch wide one. Now we are just going to butt this up against this shim and this one here and we're going to lay it down. Voila! At least I know that one's in straight. <laughs> At least I know that one isn't straight. Burnish that down. And I'll have to burnish that on the other side too, but now just get that burnished down. So next we have our three quarter of an inch one. So I'm gonna take the score tape off of this. And now this, this one here, I put two of my chipboards and I glued them together. So this is, this is um, double thickness. This is the size you need to be putting in between your, your big pieces here. So I'm going to put that here. So that is the distance I need right there. So I'm going to hold that there. I've got this piece. I've taken my score tape off. I'm going to lay it down at the bottom against that edge, and I'm going to push it up against this piece. And then I'm going to lay it down. And now we have the space in between that we need between this piece and this piece. I'm gonna burnish that. Now, the, re the rest is going to be, I'm not gonna be using this anymore, it's too hard to do. But at least we got these pieces in, we know they're straight. And I'm going to take this away. 
So how I do it, and you guys probably just can lay this out, no problem, but this is the way I do it. So now I have this one inch chipboard piece that I had used. Now I use my removable tape and I'm just gonna push, put this down here on that line that we had scored. Here's my one inch double layered chipboard piece. Gonna push that against up against this piece we just laid down. Get my seven and a quarter wide piece. Remove the score tape. Again, going to push that up against that and down against the bottom one. So got that piece down and then we're going to go to our center piece which is the one and three quarter inch piece so take off your score tape and again you need your spacer let's see i'm so slow then we, you don't want to watch me doing all this. <laughs> the next is going to be our seven and a quarter inch piece again. Same thing, going to remove my score tape. Like I said, these, these sheets are great because they're so big. It doesn't take much to get them off your chipboard. Again, using your spacer, and then you're just gonna plop it down again. So I'm gonna finish this out, and then I'll meet you at the end. So it's gonna be seven and a quarter, your, your wide one and three quarter inch centerpiece, seven and a quarter, you're gonna go back to your three quarter of an inch piece, and then your final piece will be that six and three quarters. So I'll be right back. So putting in my last piece, so what, what I've found, and you probably have done this before, push this against this so it's holding it in place, and then you've got it lined up on the bottom. Oops, if I can do that, and then lay it down. So there we go. Burnish that down. Remove this, get my spacers put away. I'm gonna be using those for other projects. Those are always good to have. You'll use them again and again. So just make sure all your chipboard pieces are burnished well, real well all the way down. So that's how it looks. So just going to get a ruler and do my one inch on this side. And I'm just going to put this in my scoreboard and cut this so I have a one inch edge on this side. So everything has a one inch border all the way around now. So I like to get my my bone folder and just go across the edge all the way around just to kind of get those fibers broken up start getting those fibers loose Now this is a big piece, so we're going to kind of fold it over and push down. Just kind of like when you're building a, 
an album. The same thing, kind of getting those fibers loosened up. Flip this big thing over again, push down. Side ones, I'm just going to help it this way. So however you do it when you're wrapping your albums, this is basically just the same steps. Everyone does it a little bit different. I kind of go slow. I don't want my paper to tear. So I work it pretty gently. Go with this all the way around too. So, I think we got these pretty well broken all in. So, got all our pieces. They've been worked out. I'm able to fold it over pretty easy on both sides. On the end pieces too. So now we have our piece ready to go. So I use this. I'm going to be mitering my corners. Some people will just cut them um, by eyeballing it. I'm not there yet. I don't know if I'll ever be there. But I have this little cheat thing called Perfect. If you can see it perfecttrimruler.com and it has you'll, it comes with instructions um, but it it will have little measurements and you pick the one that works for your chipboard for my chipboard the medium weight chipboard I am going to be using this 0.125 inch side right here it's a corner so I just put it down here and if you guys can see that so it's the lines are lined up with the edge of the chipboard on both sides and then you just make a line so you just draw it so that tells you where you're going to be cutting the chip the the cardstock when you're doing your edges so i just go all the way around and do this for all my edges there. Not going to cut it yet because we're going to be applying our score tape. So the score tape, you're going to be getting the 3 eighths of an inch and you're going to go all the way around the top edge, all the way around. So I am going to do that and I'm going to start just, um, just over this this line I just made for my mitering. I'm just going to start a little bit over it and then I'm just going to go all the way around and I'll meet you on the back side. So you have your score tape, your 3 eighths of an inch score tape all the way around. Make sure you burnish it real well. Then what you're going to do is you're going to get your quarter of an inch tape 
you get a little bit closer here. And when you put this on, you're going to be adhering it to the edge of the chipboard all the way around. When you go over these spaces here, let me show you here. So you're going to go to the end here, and then you're going to get to this space. What you're going to do is you're going to make sure you push that tape into that space. Then go over, push that tape into that space, and then go over, and just keep doing that. Anytime you get to a space, push that tape in. If you, if you just go straight across, I go back out a little bit, if I can get this to, see, oh my gosh, there. If you just go straight across and you don't push these in, what will happen, and I don't know if you've ever had that happen, when you're opening and closing your photo album or a folio, you'll hear that crackling sound. That's because the tape isn't adhering any in, into anything. It's just kind of free floating in that space. So you will get that crackling sound, which drives me crazy. So just go ahead and do, do your quarter of an inch tape all the way around. And then I will meet you on the flip side. So once you've got that down, then make sure you burnish that well, real well, all the way around. I'm going to go ahead and cut my, my corners. Get my scissors. I'm going to remove all my score tape. I should get my pick tool. Just going to remove all of that. All the way around. So I'm going to keep removing the score tape and then I'll be right back. So all the score tape is removed. So now I'm going to use our glitter glue. I know I've said before I'm scared of glue, especially our glitter glue. Um, but I'm going to try this. We're just going to put some at the edge down and through here, so I sh it shouldn't dry before I I put I fold it over. So just going to put a little edge here, all the way down. Now. What you're going to do is go in the center and you're going to pull down, pull down, and then just go out towards the edge, edges. Pull down, go out towards the edges. And I'm just going to get my bone folder and just go around those edges where we had the glue. Just kind of adhere the chipboard to that glue. Okay, and then we're going to flip this big thing all the way around. I think I burned, did I burnish this all the way around? I think I did, didn't I? I don't even, I don't even remember. <laughs> Let's do it one more time. Now, same thing, I'm gonna add the art glitter glue to the edge here. All the way down. Same thing, start in the center. And then just go out to the edges. All 
all the way get into those crevices too there we go now when you're doing these crevices make sure you are using the rounded edge and not the pointy edge you do not want to tear your paper done that before so I think we're all set with the long side I don't know if I did my little crevices here but I'll do it again okay so now we have our corners on this end so go straight up and then pull it in go straight up and then push it in. I'm gonna pull it in. It's harder, harder to do it this way. Let me turn this around. Go straight up and push that in. Push that little piece in. Push that in a little bit. I mean, I spend way too much time doing this. But I know that needs to go in just a little bit more. Like I said, <laughs> I do this for fun and I'm not very fast. So forgive me. Hopefully I'll get better. That's what I'm hoping. So same thing. Push this down in the center. Go out towards the edges. Burnish that down. And there's there's our edge. So it's it's pretty it's a pretty good edge. So we have our folio. Uh, put my cap on. That's one thing I forget with this glue. You don't put your cap on it will dry up on you so I'm just gonna go down and make sure everything is burnished one more time now with your smooth side of your bone folder gently go down these these areas these little spaces in here because we're gonna start folding this now That's pretty good. Then the next one. That's pretty good. Center one, same thing. And this one. Remember, do not use this if you've torn paper here before, you know, it's sad. <laughs> it's just sad. It's just sad. How many times have I done it? Several. And it's always sad. I hear some of that crackling. Make sure my tape is down. Should not be making that crackling. There. Okay. So let's see. What do we, this is what we have. Now with the I mean, this looks pretty good, and I haven't gone over all my my top side either. So, the next step to make this nice is get your your bone folder. Just go over the edges. I just like to go all over my edges. Make sure everything looks nice.
Some people do this so fast. I look at them and I go, oh my gosh. They did that so fast. And I'm still barely getting started. I don't like to go fast because this is my relaxing time. This is my happy place. The world is going crazy, but we're crafting. So let's see what we have. Oh my goodness, isn't that so beautiful? That is just so beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. So there we have our, our base. It's so beautiful, if I say so myself. 